Hey traders, I hope everybody had a good weekend. This is a quick market update. And basically my timing signal went bearish last week. And the market's really been range bound since then. On Friday, uh, there was some, there, there were a few more stocks setting up than uh, basically Monday through Thursday, but, but that's not saying much. Uh, my public chart list that I have, uh, just these eight stocks are some of the stocks that are actually really breaking out, hitting new highs, and, and look really attractive from a momentum point of view. However, you really need to have a couple couple things in place for momentum trades to work out and uh, you've got to have this stock market acting right the you know the Nasdaq and the Dow and then you've got to have the individual stocks acting right and I, I think we're really missing that first component uh, you know we've basically been sideways here for a while but sideways to negative you know you look at the RSI action and we're really it's it's been very weak uh, and, and we're, every time you know we get into this 50 area we're struggling let alone get you know we I still think we could go up to the 60 or you know just below the 70 uh, you know maybe we pop pop open uh, on Monday and, and then sell off uh, I'm not sure actually you know here on the Dow it's it's struggling at this uh, resistance line right here so my signal's bearish. Uh, it's it's actually kind of neutral almost. It it could go either way in my opinion. Uh, I wouldn't be overexposed. And there's something else that's happening tomorrow that's fairly significant. Is it's a full moon. And lately, where is this chart here? Lately, uh, the f the full moon here marked uh, just as two full moons ago marked the uh, the top in the market. And then basically the market had a significant sell-off. And then this full moon, uh, two days prior the market had bottomed. So essentially f the last two full, uh, full moon cycles had marked uh, fairly nice, fairly significant points where the market um, reversed. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, normally, in my opinion, it's either a consolidation move uh, and, and then it follows through in the previous trend or it can mark a significant bottom in my opinion uh, so like here was a you know here was a bottom follow through follow through top uh, bottom it remains it, it really could go either way you know we could see an, a, a, a nice rally uh, you know over the next course of the couple of days and then a consolidation and then it takes off uh, it, it's you know uh, right now, I'm going to follow my signal, and if if we get a reversal on Monday, I'll know after the close, and then I'll start, you know, so let's say the market rallies on Monday, well, then more stocks will probably break out, the whole market will probably start to improve, the Dow will probably be, be hitting new highs, and, you know, all will be well in the world. But at this point, I don't know if that's going to happen, so it's really too risky to be too fully invested on the long side well I mean I'm not long at all but you know let's say somebody who wasn't following my timing signal they they, they just took a bet that they thought the market was gonna go long well really that's in my opinion that's just a guess at this point because we are hitting uh, let's go back to the 60 minute on the Dow you know we are at a lower high uh, at a period where we basically churned which according to Investor Business Daily, is not a positive thing for the markets to do. You know, this churning is actually s uh, strong hands unloading stock behind the scenes. And then we basically had the first slide down here, found support, and now we're right back at resistance. So it really could go either way. Uh, here's the three-line break of the NASDAQ composite. And, you know, this gave an early warning sell signal here earlier this week. Uh, the Trix is pointing straight down. The McClellan oscillator is negative. You know this is not a this is not a chart you would you would look at and want to bu to go long the market. So with that said, uh, I would I, you know I think tomorrow is going to be a pivotal day, and uh, I'm not going to be making too many big bets either way. I'm going to just continue to hold my shorts and we'll see what happens. Uh, so uh, we'll we'll talk tomorrow after the close, guys. Take care.